Hey guys, just Lisa. Um, okay, so just about to give my hair a wash, but one of the questions that I have been asked is should you be separating your dreads? Um, because a lot of people I think are finding that they're joining together and they're going to Congo. <clears throat> so I would definitely say yes. I go through and try and separate all of mine before I have a shower. And I just give them a bit of a palm roll. My hair is an absolute mess at the moment because I've had it all up today. Um, but as you can see, we're getting some really good locking happening here. Uh, I've got thickness, I've got a few little bulbs here and there, and but it's all part of the process. <coughs> around. So what you want to do is just make sure that they are all separated and if there's any in between that aren't, just slowly pull them apart. Mine are pretty good. Issues here. This one always wants to dread with this one. So I've got a few here. If you can, just try and pull it out without breaking it. Unroll it. Let's give these a wash because they are just dreadful. My hair is so oily. And then what I'll do is I'll show you what I've been doing um, when I get out just in relation to not having a crochet hook if you don't want to because as you can see my roots are pretty good there. They're locking up really really well and all I've been doing is basically round and palm rolling instead of using a crochet hook. If I really need to I will use it. Um, but I do use a 0.5 mil. That's getting quite thick, that one. See that? So, cheers, I'll see you very soon. Hey guys, so I've just jumped out of the shower. Um, I've started to blow dry my hair, but before I finish all of it, what I wanted to do is just show you quickly what I do do. I don't know if this will make any difference, if that light will make any difference. I do go around and I do try and um, separate my hair. So I can feel a little bit here, and because I've dried a little bit, I just like pull it up slowly just to try and separate it. I'd, I know in my first video that I made so you can see that's part of that dread. The first video I made I was really quite um, rough when I did this. There's no need to be so rough. And as you can see my dreads are really starting to lock up nicely. Like, if you take a look at that one it's getting all lumps and bumps through it. Um, and so is this one. Now, I didn't actually want that to begin with. So what I do do is go around and roll it. Um, but I can see that it's kind of going to be inevitable unless I go in and crochet hook a whole heap of dreads. And I really don't want to do that because I'm not experienced enough yet. I'm only, you know, coming up to five weeks into my dread experience. And I don't want to be messing with them too much, so I'm just going to let them be. All I do is go around and roll them. Um, so I'll just give them another quick roll before I dry them completely. That one's quite thick, actually. Otherwise, they are fairly good. They're all quite thin. Let's see? see that one I did go around quickly and make sure that they were all separated that one you can see this one here is starting to dread up with some hair that was separated because it was part of 
this thread down here and it just was trying to join all the time so I separated them and I didn't cut it <laughs> um, I just slowly pulled it out and yeah it's worked really well and look at that one actually it's really funny because all these ones over this side seem to be like a little bit warped <laughs> more so than that side but anyway, and that one kind of just seems to be one fat, <laughs> that one, but it's alright, it's hard to get up to the top here sometimes. But anyway, I'm going to go through, um, I'm going to do a little bit more blow drying, so yes I do blow dry, I don't have it on the hottest um, temperature, I have it on mid temperature, so I don't have it cold because otherwise it's going to take me forever. Um, and that's about it until, oh look at that one, wow, that's getting good, wow, see I believe like when it starts doing this, this is when you do lose length, but I have seen a couple of people that, um, still got quite a bit of length because I'm not doing mine naturally. So I am palm rolling and everything else, I'm not going to leave it completely. And I will learn how to do the crocheting um, properly. I do use the 1mm sometimes on my roots, but I just didn't want to mess with my dreads at the moment. I don't want to make them weak. Um, so yeah, it's all trial and error and experience. Talking to heaps of people, there's so many people in the dread community that can help you out. It's wonderful. Um, but I'll be back soon. Hi, I'm back guys. Um, so. Um, I've gone through and dried my hair. What I want to do is just go around and show you. I haven't actually done it right through to the bottom here. I'm going to kind of scrunch it up a little bit and let that dry naturally. But I've done the roots so that we can go through and do some maintenance. But before we do, what I want to do is just go around and show you how it looks. Because it is wispy and a mess and you can have a look to see how the dreads are looking but as you can see they're quite well parted this is one that I was telling you about that was joined to another one which I pulled out and it is this dread will slowly eat it okay go around I'm in here for you so you can see so you can see how fluffy they are and like really messy over this side big one it's like a big ball of mess over here that needs to be fixed up um, it's really hard to get to the back of your hair though so these need some work. So there's big loose bits there. Like lots of loose hair there. No one. Hopefully I'm still in here for you. Okay. I didn't get real close then so hopefully you can see. Alright, so Without using the crochet hook, what I've been doing, okay, is, I always start with the top, I don't know why, but I always start with the top, this is how I started my dreads too, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. You make sure everything's pulled apart, you do some rubbing, some root rubbing, just to get it nice and matted. Mm. If you've got curly hair already, your hair is probably really matted. And then all I do is go around. What this is doing is still giving you space from for your roots so it's not too tight. But making it nice. Now 
this I actually got um, from a young girl that was on um, the Dread Forum, um, Dreadlocks Forum on Facebook and it was fantastic and it works really well and then all I do is palm roll. So I go around and do that for every dread and it's amazing like how clean, like look how clean that looks. See? So let's just do, I'll do this one at the front here. So it's all separated. Get it nice and matted. You just do it gently, you don't do it too hard. Make sure it doesn't have any of my fringe in it. My fringe is disgusting. <laughs> That's why we'll get that fixed up in a minute. Let's go around. You can do this all the way down if you want, but I only do it at the roots really. And like give it a big Rub. Trying to. There you go. So you know you can see it's going to be <laughs> a little bit stiff for a little bit, but you know once you get a bed, sleep on it, it's fine. So make sure you're untangled. Got some tangling happening here. Now when you do try and pull it out, just try and pinch it. Okay, that's good, that's good. Some space. Don't do this too hard, you don't want to be ripping hairs out of your head, you don't want to go bald. Okay. Let's see, you can see that's quite messy. Okay, so guys, what I've done is I've gone around and tidied everything up. So, uh, my camera keeps on <laughs> just bumming out on me tonight, so it doesn't really want me to show you how to do this. But anyway, what I've done is gone around and basically tidy up, tidied up all of my roots. So I'll just um, show you this one for a moment. Uh, what I basically did was... I did the root rubbing, then I put my hand in between and I rolled the dread and I do it in between a few different ways just so that it's locking at the root but not too tight because you've got you know half an inch there between a couple of centimeters anyway and then so that's nice and tight at the root and then I palm roll it. So I've gone through and done all of these dreads. So you can see that looks quite good at the root. They all do. That's without having to use crochet hook. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go around again because you could see that my dreads were really quite untidy before. There's a few that I'll fix up as I go. So we'll start this way. Okay. That one's a little bit too loose, so I'm gonna. I think I missed that one altogether. So if you can see this, I should be That root rub. Don't do it too hard, just gently. It's nice and matted. Put it in between your fingers. So as you can see at the moment, it's quite flat. Hopefully you can see that. And some of them do that. So I pinch it so I can round the bottom of it. See it's rounded more now, and then I roll it. See that you can see that's a lot nicer now. Didn't do this one either, so let's do this one. 